Hi guys, it's Miss Brammer and my son, her son, Nicola. Okay, so we're going to be performing a science experiment today. I'm going to get this camera turned for you so you can see. Okay, and what we're making today is called milk art. So we're going to be creating, there we go, we're going to be creating art using milk. Pretty cool thing. So you need a bowl, clear bowl, so you can see. Okay, you need a half a cup of milk. And on here, you can see the one half, one dash two cup. Okay, you need a half a cup of milk. Okay, you need food coloring. Red, yellow, blue, and green. You have to have at least two colors. You don't have to have all four, but you have to have at least two. You need a Q-tip, and you also need just some dish soap, okay? And I'm about out of dish soap, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do, and he is actually gonna do it, we're gonna pour the milk, the one half cup of milk into the bowl, okay? Just like that. You want the milk to be as still as possible, so you don't want to move the bowl around, okay? The next thing you're gonna do, put one drop of each food coloring in a different place into the milk. So I'm gonna bring this forward a little bit so you can see it better. One drop there, one drop of blue. Now we're gonna do it to left. Greens, two. Mm. Well, two drops went in a green. We'll see what happens. Who cares? It can be extra green. We need one drop of yellow. Yellow or red. Well, it kind of looks orange, but the lid's yellow, so it's yellow. And then some red. Drop of red. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my laptop just so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, now. After you get your drops of food coloring in there, you're going to put a tiny amount of soap on the end, but he's never done this experiment either, on the end of the Q-tip, okay? So, it's a tiny amount of soap. I mean, you can barely even see it. I just got it onto the cotton swab. Okay? Touch it to one of the colors. But hang on, let me point my computer down. I'm gonna do a Okay, touch it to one. <gasps> Ooh. Now let's do red, yellow, and green. And then you can. Oop, don't swirl it. Don't swirl it. Do that. Touch it. Ooh. I wonder if we touch it to the splats of green that are still together pretty good, what happens over here in the corner? Okay. A little red. I think we might need a little bit more this year. We're okay. That is pretty cool right there. So that, my friends, is how you paint with um, milk and food coloring, okay? Now, how it works is, is that milk has fat in it, okay? And the food coloring, it floats on top of the milk, as you've seen as He put the drops of food coloring, it floated on the top, right? All the fat is connected with bonds. And when we studied matter and all that, we went over what bonds are. So you guys are familiar, okay? Well, then your dish soap, okay, which is used on greasy and oily dishes to get all the grease and the oil off of your dishes, okay? It breaks the bonds and the fat, which allows them to separate, okay? When you add the dish soap to the milk, the fat separates and moves, making that magical milk art. Okay, guys? Um, I am super excited to hear all about on our next Zoom meeting how this milk art worked for you. Now, I used half and half milk, but you can use 2%, 1%, whatever you have in the house. Even 0%? Yeah. I don't know if um, chocolate milk works. Probably not, because you couldn't see the colors. So 
I, and I wouldn't waste the chocolate milk anyway because it's too good. But anyway, some extra experiments that you could think, be thinking about is does the temperature of the milk affect what happens? Well, I'll tell you in my experiment, I used milk. I had just poured it into the measuring cup, so it was ice cold straight out of the fridge. Okay. And like I said, I tried half and half, which is actually more fat than whole milk. So you could try whole milk, skim milk, whatever. Tell me if you get the same results, okay? Another thing you can do is sprinkle pepper when you put your food coloring in before you touch your Q-tip to it. Sprinkle pepper into your milk. See what happens, okay, before you do the soap. So, guys, until next time, we will see you later. Thank you, my assistant. Bye, guys.